Now I'm going to show you how to mold and to make the tin loaf. Great basic white dough, but also that dough we can use it for uh, a fugas, and that's uh, another uh, it's a quick bread, what I call instant gratification bread. You don't have to prove that bread, you just cut the dough and bake it straight in the oven, it's fantastic. Right, to make the white loaf, we need flour, one kilo of strong wedge flour. Then we get some fine sea salt, and I'm going to use 20 gram in there, two teaspoons of salt. Now yeast, there's two types of yeast you can use. You can use fresh yeast, which is great, give you a nice flavor. If you can't get fresh yeast, you can use some uh, quick yeast as well. So I use about one teaspoon for one kilo of flour. Now, the only thing we need after that is water. And I'm gonna use 730 gram of water for one kilo of flour. Cover your salt and your yeast and blend everything together. You can use your finger for this. Put our water into our bowl very slowly. Okay, I'm only joking. <laughs> I'm gonna use a plastic scraper. Mix everything together, like you would do on a, on a mixer in a, on a slow speed. For four or five minutes, you mix your ingredients together, so they start to bound together. So if you put your hand in there now, what's happening, you stick everywhere, and then the stickiness makes your brain feel, it's so sticky, you put more flour in there, you change your recipe, you got to stick to the recipe and believe it's going to work. So work everything really well together. And you do this in your bowl until you've got no flour showing, there's no dry bits. I'm going to drop this on the table. Uh, I'll drop the dough. Okay, this is perfect. The dough is going to be formed now. You've got to work with the dough. Hands like that, pick up the dough, and then slap it there, stretch over, and fold. Like so. What you must not do is hold on to the dough too much. Believe it's going to work, and it will work. Give it a scrap. Take your dough for a walk, make it move. Show the dough is boss. It takes a bit of practice. You don't add flour, you don't add oil. I can feel the dough really getting stronger and stronger. You feel the dough changing. There's a trick I teach people during the class also sometimes, is if you heard of the French shrug, you work perfect. If you do the French shrug to the dough, you all know that, the dough will come off your finger. I'll show you that. Look. Oh, oh, like that, okay? <laughs> Both. It's the best sensation to feel the dough coming alive, changing through your finger by doing your own work and understanding how the dough works. Final touch more shrug. If you see the dough there, when you put your hand on top, it doesn't stick. Our dough is done now, so just a fine dusting of flour, just very little, upside down. So the sticky side is up now. And that's going to rest now for an hour. Put it somewhere, drop free. Right, our dough now has been rested for an hour. It's beautiful, ready to go. I'm going to show you now to divide the dough and to make uh, some beautiful tin loaf with it and also a nice fugas. A tiny bit of flour on the table, fine dusting, then my scraper and tip the dough over. Fine dusting of flour. I'm going to keep a tiny bit of dough for my fugas. There you go. And I'll leave this alone. Now for our tin loaf. Press it down gently, give it one fold. Press in here, and another fold on top. And we divide the dough in about 450 grams. Now I'm going to show you to mold the tin loaf. Very lightly buttered, you can use oil if you want to also. So my top of my dough, the smooth side is there. Press it down a tiny bit. There. Our loaf now are ready to go and prove. Don't try to put your dough in a hot airing cover, it's too dry. As long as they're covered, they won't crust on the top. Okay, I got a piece of dough left over there, and what I want to show you is one of my favorite bread. The fugas come from the same root word as the word focaccia and the word focus, which means bread baked on the half of the oven, right in the center where it's really, really hot. For this one, I'm gonna use a tiny bit of semolina, put a bit of flour together. That's great. I'm gonna take my dough there, I'm gonna get a scraper and just cut it in the middle there like a leaf shape. And you find them in windows, in shops in France. You can have them stuffed with olive, with all sorts of things. I'm gonna lift it there, on our peel, and make some little flames. Look at that, beautiful. So make sure it doesn't stick. And that's ready for the oven. And in about 10 minutes, we have a perfect bread.
So our fugu has been now for about 12 minutes in the oven. Oh yes. Look at this. Look at that. Perfectly, perfectly, perfectly formed. Listen to this. Oh, that's exactly what you want. Perfect. Our tin loaf have been proving for one hour now, so it's time to put them in the oven. Just rub it gently. Really hot oven, 250. Put them inside, get a big squirt of steam in there. And this will soften the top of the crust and form the crust. Done. They're going to bake at, on full heat for about uh, 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, we'll turn the oven down by 30 degrees. And then finish baking uh, for another 20 minutes. Let's have a look. Oh yes. Oh, look at you. Beautiful. The crust is nicely formed, but if you wanted a harder crust on the side, put them back in the oven for two or three minutes and then you form a better crust. Beautiful. Right, what we've got now with a simple basic white dough is three beautiful tin loaf and a great fugas.